There is a common misconception that stem cell therapy is something that is years away from being implemented clinically. Here we're going to discuss a paper which shows in a black and white manner that not only are stem cells safe for certain conditions, but also that they have an uh, eff effective outcome in treatment. Particularly, the paper we're going to be discussing is a paper from the New England Journal of Medicine, which essentially is the first multi-center, double-blind, placebo-controlled trial of stem cells for heart failure after myocardial infarction. Background of the study. After a patient has a heart attack, even if stenting is successful, there is a much higher rate of the heart failing afterwards. This is because the heart attack causes damage of the myocardium of the muscle and as a result there is decreased ability to pump. The heart starts compensating for this by increasing the chamber size. However, because of this heart tissue, uh, what happens is a cascade, a self-feeding cascade of degeneration ensues which culminates in heart failure. This cascade seems to be inhibited by administration of stem cells because stem cells cause new muscles to be formed and inhibit the scar tissue. However, no big studies have been done prior to this study. Uh, the purpose of the study, of course, is to see whether the bone marrow stem cells can inhibit this post-infarct cardiac deterioration in a placebo-controlled setting. The study is a very good, well-designed study, and the data is very strong that comes from the study for three reasons. Number one is because the study used an extremely large number of patients. Uh, 103 patients were used as controls and 101 were treated with stem cells. The study was double-blinded, meaning that neither the patient nor the physician administering knew whether what was being given was stem cells or placebo. And the study was multi-center, performed at 17 hospitals, 16 in Germany, one in Switzerland. Patients who were treated, who, who entered the study, uh, had an acute ST elevation infarct. They had to be eligible to receive cells uh, three to six days after the heart attack and the reperfusion occurred. Patients had to have diminished pumping activity as a result of the heart attack. Uh, cancer patients and patients with other comorbidities were not included, and the patients selected had uh, a very similar criteria, both who were placed in placebo and treatment, in order so that the results coming out will not be biased by the patient selection. The intervention, how the patients were treated. Patients um, had 50 milliliters of bone marrow extracted from the posterior iliac crest and 20 milliliters of blood. The bone marrow was mixed, um, was processed, uh, and uh, bone marrow mononuclear cells were extracted, mixed in with autologous plasma derived from the blood at a central processing facility, and on average, about 2 million uh, bone marrow mononuclear cells were extracted from the 50 mils aspiration. This is about 3.6 million CD34 positive stem cells. Then these cells were sent back to the um, local hospital to the 17 hospitals and using um, catheterization and angiography the cells were injected specifically in the infarct related area. So to give you an example of the study 217 patients uh, had heart attacks and were successfully stented. Of these 13 did not meet, uh, meet the inclusion criteria so they were not harvested. 204 patients had bone marrow harvest bone marrow was taken of these, 103 were infused with media alone, this is placebo group, and 101 patients were infused with cells. The outcomes. At four months, the patients who received cells, but not the patients who received media alone, they had a significantly increased uh, left ventricular ejection fraction, meaning that the heart was pumping blood better at four months. Then, if you look at the patients who responded, and you break it down into categories. On the left hand side, the boxes with the white and black, the white was placebo, the black is bone marrow. You can tell statistically significant better uh, pumping action. And the patients who had initially a lower pumping action, a pumping act activity lower than 48.9%, 
whereas patients who had a higher pumping activity, higher than 48.9, as you can see on the right-hand side, did not derive benefit. So this is showing that there not only is there globally a better pumping action when people receive stem cells, but if people start out with a worse heart function, they're more likely to benefit. At one year after infusion, there was statistically significant reduction in, number one, death, six patients in the placebo died versus only two died who received stem cells in one year and recurrence of a heart attack a second myocardial infarction five patients in the placebo group had a, another heart attack whereas none in the um, treated group had a secondary heart attack and the need for revascularization were restenting 35 patients in the placebo group had to be revascularized whereas only 21 who received stem cells had to be revascularized. The third important outcome is just general safety of the procedure. Of all the patients treated, there was no increase in patient death, troponin elevation, or arrhythmias at any time point. Uh, they were followed up for a year in the patients that received stem cells versus ones which did not. The procedure was safe and feasible, and no growths, uh, abnormal growths or tumors were observed in the follow-up. In conclusion, this is the first double-blinded placebo-controlled study showing in a black-and-white manner that there is efficacy, statistically significant efficacy, for bone marrow stem cells, showing safety, and because this is one of the largest studies, a very strong study, uh, with large patient number, double-blind, placebo, and multicenter, this data is a very strong data supporting the use of bone marrow stem cells. However, um, the, the study used a relatively l a small amount of bone marrow cells. Remember, only 50 milliliters of bone marrow were, were used, and the bone marrow was taken from adults. Uh, it was autologous. Um, one believes that if you use a higher number of bone marrow cells or use a younger bone marrow stem cell source, or I mean use a younger stem cell source such as from umbilical cord blood, better results may be seen. Thank you very much.